so today i will be discussing about another approximation method that is the perturbation theory so in our previous video we have done the variation theorem that was the first uh, approximation method in perturbation theory again it is used for complicated system which are having more than one electron system and this method is based on the principle that uh, actual problem will be treated as uh, either we will be doing slight modifications or disturbance in the system so when we talk in terms of quantum theory the effect of perturbation uh, that is to introduce additional terms so we will start with this schrodinger wave equation again so according to schrodinger wave equation we know this uh, equation very well that is uh, hi is equal to e psi and that is an operator which we call as hamiltonian operator so uh, it is having a particular value that is minus h cut square upon 2m del square plus v so what we will be doing we will be introducing additional terms here and we will split the hamiltonian uh, operator itself into two parts one will be the perturbed part another will be the unperturbed system now here let us consider this psi1 uh, not psi2 uh, not and psi n not it will be the solution of equation of the unperturbed state and e1 not e2 not and en up to en en not uh, that is the eigen values so we will be writing uh, the first equation that is h psi is equal to e psi in terms of uh, n so in terms of n you will be getting in terms of n it is h n and psi n that is equal to e n psi n so let us consider this as equation number 3 now what i will be doing is i will be putting the value of psi n and uh, e n in this equation we are having the value of psi n and e n so the value of psi n and e n uh, that will be in terms of eigen values and eigen functions they are and they are expressed in series in lambda so these are the value of psi n psi n is psi n not plus lambda psi n1 lambda square psi n 2 and so on and en will be en not lambda en1 uh, lambda square en square uh, and these values i will be putting in this equation now let us see what we will be getting now since uh, the value of hamiltonian operator we have written in the split form that is uh, h not and lambda h1 so this we will be putting in the equation along with the values of psi n and en so my equation will become instead of h i am writing h uh, uh, not plus lambda h dash and instead of uh, psi n i will be putting the value of psi n and it similarly here en i will be putting this value of en and psi n so this equation will become this is the value of psi n en and uh, this is the again value of psi n so this was the equation which you have to solve further that is hn psi n is equal to en psi n now h is the hamiltonian operator and we have already uh, written the value after splitting it that is h not plus lambda h dash this being the unperturbed part and this one is the perturbation part and this is the perturbation parameter psi n we will be writing psi n not plus lambda psi n one lambda square psi n square similarly en uh, value you will be putting that is en not plus lambda en one plus lambda square en square and again the value of psi n so this further we have to solve so let us solve this first we will be multiplying this by this we will be taking uh, psi n not first together uh, on either side of the bracket so this will be h not psi n not and this side uh, psi n is here that is e n not psi n not so this i will be taking that side so it will become minus so uh, this equation in simple form i will be writing
then lambda terms I will be taking together so I will see where lambda is lambda is here so uh, lambda if I take outside so I will be left with h naught and psi n so when I multiply this I will be getting plus square terms we won't take only first order I am taking so in this here I will see where it is so uh, I will be multiplying h naught also by this so I will be getting h cap naught psi n 1 and this side I will be searching the lambda terms this that is uh, when I take it that side it will be minus e n naught psi n and minus e n naught this so that will be equal to 0 other terms I am taking 0 since I am considering only the first terms that is lambda only lambda square I am not taking at present so if the deviation is uh, very small the second term it will be 0 so in this equation this is the first term and this is the second term so first term only we will be taking because uh, we are considering this deviation to be very small so this will be 0 so in this case you can see we are taking the first part of the above equation so second part I am taking 0 so uh, open the brackets you will get h naught psi n minus e n psi n is equal to 0 or h naught psi n is equal to it will go that side so this is what is known as the zero order correction now what we will do is for first order correction we will be considering this part now which is inside the bracket here so that part h1 psi n naught h cap naught psi n1 this i am taking here h1 psi n naught h naught psi n1 minus e n1 psi n naught minus e n0 psi n1 that is equal to 0 so this will be the first order correction or what is known as the first perturbation so we will be solving it now so, so for solving it what we will be doing is uh, we will be taking the left side of each part for example this in this equation this is the left side in this equation this is the left side in this equation part this is the left side and in this part this is the left side so this uh, part we will be operating by this function so uh, let us see uh, h 1 we will be writing zero and closed so this equation it is becoming this similarly this part again I will be operating with this function let us see what we get psi n naught h naught it was operator also sign psi n naught and this two side I will be taking in this side so this will become plus and again I have to operate it with this similarly I have to operate this with this so equal to so en again I will be operating with this function en1 psi n not closed plus again this one operate with this function e 
en not psi dash n closed so you can see here so this is the final equation by putting this function in this equation so when we are putting this function in this equation we have to uh, op operate it with the left side function means this we will be treating with this h1 h0 e1 e0 so this equation i am getting now you know that h psi is equal to e psi or you can say psi h is equal to e psi so we will be replacing that value so now what i have done is instead of psi h psi h i am writing e psi so what will happen uh, when we see the whole equation this and this it is same so it will get cancelled so we are left with only this two terms that is this one psi n not h 1 psi n not is equal to e n 1 psi n not psi n not so now in this equation we will be applying the normalized wave function that is this is psi psi n psi n so psi n psi n if you integrate psi star psi d tau that will be zero or you can say psi n this psi n that will be one so if it is one you are left with this equation so this is the equation for first order correction